the Oklahoma City bombing. On April 19, 1995, there was a big blast that killed 165 people. There was a rented rider truck that Timothy McVeigh parked outside the building, filled with bombs and fertilizer. Everyone began to discover it through the news that day. A series of government events, including the Waco standoff and the Ruby Ridge incident, led to the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. Who caused the bombing was Timothy McVeigh following Terry Nicholas. Terry Nicholas supported making the bomb and also supplied items for it. Both of them were ex-military people with PTSD and they were both anti-government, which led to the event. The explosion was at Alfred P. Murray Federal Building and it also had a daycare in it for the children. The Oklahoma City bombing was led by Waco and Ruby Ridge. These events enraged people because the governments didn't do much about the two events. Waco was a spot where illegal items like alcohol, tobacco, and firearms were stocked. The building that it went down at was Mount Carmel Center. It was a law enforcement siege and it was also going on for many months, from January 28th to April 19th, 1993. One of the further actions why people were mad at the government is because the military was careless when they broke in. They brought down walls that people were behind, which ended up barricading people in once the fire started. Ruby Ridge was a cabin in Boundary Country, Idaho, which was a spot where there were legal guns in the cabin Randy made. The United States Marshal Service didn't know what was going on until they got there. The United States Marshal Service arrested Randy Weaver under a bench warrant after he failed to appear on firearm charges. Once the police showed up at his cabin, they had a search warrant on him for his previous arrests. It ended up in a shoot-off between his family and the police. It was an 11-day siege from August 21st, 1992 to August 31st. Everyone that was in the cabin didn't make it out. All the family died as a result of the event. One of the most interesting deaths was led by the FBI. Weaver's wife, Vicky, was killed by an FBI sniper through the window of the cabin. Timothy McVeigh was troubled by the government about how they handled this event, which set him into a further anti-government. The Oklahoma City bombing had a massive impact on the government, in a good way and a bad way. They got extra protection around federal buildings. Jersey barriers, and now they build federal buildings on a higher platform. But they also lost around $500 million in damage to the building. Another good point is they got a better FBI bomb tech and tech in general. They also especially learned how to deal with these situations. Why I think we should know more about this attack is because over the time there are more and more terrorist attacks. Like the Capitol storming on January 6th. What made the people mad that stormed the Capitol is similar to what made Timothy McVeigh mad at. How they are similar is they both got mad at the government and how they acted and what the government chose. There are a series of government events including Waco standoff and the Ruby Ridge incident, which was one of the country's worst domestic terrorist attacks to date.